Shook it up. Good morning, guys. Today is Tuesday. It is the 14th of August and it is 8 a.m. I'm just about to do my morning cardio and then I am going to go walk the dogs. I'm up super early, getting everything done because I have my second 3D lipo treatment this morning at 10 a.m. So I want to get stuff done so I can just feel like I can relax and get that done. So right now I am due my period. My weight is going up and up and up. It was going down and down and down all last week. And um, I reached a new low in last week of 115.8 pounds. So 116 pounds was pretty much my steady weight last week. Today I weighed in at 117.6 pounds. This is completely normal for me when I have my period. My weight just goes up a lot. I'm retaining a lot more water. I feel quite bloated. I don't feel good and um, cranky. I was up early didn't get enough sleep. So all these things contribute to having a higher weigh-in. I'm just after washing my hair. It's still wet, I just dried the fringe. So I don't dry the fringe, then it doesn't sit right. And usually when I dry it, it's a bit like, this is like the, the fringe chronicles of Lainey right now, the bang chronicles, whatever you want to call them. But I put on a bit of makeup and I don't have any lip gloss on, so I look really pale and washed out, but I swear I'm not. Although I do definitely look paler around my period as well. God, the joys, the joys of being a woman. And I'm not allowed to talk about my period around Lex because obviously he was brought here by a stork and his mother's reproduction had nothing what to do with it. So all those guys who feel uncomfortable with your woman talking about her period. Remember where you came from, dude? You came out of your mother. She had her period, then she missed a period. And then you came along nine months later. That's the facts. Don't make us feel awkward about mother nature. It's not very fair. So I'm, I'm only allowed to say, oh, that time of the month to Lex. I'm not allowed to say period, because he goes, Ugh. Moving away from period and poops, I'm gonna go and do my cardio now, get it done. I do about, I do 200 calories on my stepper and I've been walking the dogs to get my 10,000 steps in. So right now I'm doing like about six to 800 calories a week. Last week it was 800 and it'll probably be the same this week. Next week I go to Leeds. So my coach has me prepared for that. I'll probably have some low carb days leading up to that so that we can kind of carb cycle into it just so I don't get affected too much and I have some extra food to play around with while I'm there just to account for festival life. I'm so excited, I can't wait. Um, and I have my liners in because I was whitening my teeth last night and I have to wear my liners at night to try and keep them. Even though I'm finished. But I want to just keep them in so I remember to put them in the kitchen where I keep my whitening treatment because it has to be kept in the fridge. And then I'm nearly done. We're getting, we're doing a few little adjustments to my teeth. Next time I go in, he put like these kind of like little wax things on and it just kind of straightens them out this way as opposed to this way because they're a bit up and down. So we're going to just go add a little bit on to the bottom of each tooth. Kind of like a little mini veneer without having to shave down my entire tooth. Looking good though, right? 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 Cardio done and now I'm off to wake up the dogs. Well, they're already awake, but say hello to their hot mommy. Good morning, puppies. Good morning. <laughs> So these are fed, I spared you the disgusting noises and I'm just gonna have my collagen coffee. I'm gonna add some of the almond coconut milk to that. I'm gonna have one of my little breakfast muffins. I bulk make them so that I have something every morning just straight away when I get up. I have one of my little muffins and then later on in the day I have my breakfast. So it's not a full intermittent fast but I don't have a full fulfilling breakfast until after midday. Currently driving to my appointment and as always I'm running late because I had to wait for the rain to stop so I could walk the dogs because it was really heavy rain and we don't like walking in the really heavy rain. So I'm on my way now. I'm only at like estimated time of arrivals a minute late so why am I always late? I 
I thought it was Alex. Well, he'd be 10 minutes late as opposed to one minute late. But we'll get there, we'll get there. Um, I haven't even had coffee yet. I've only had a decaf with my collagen. And I really, people have been asking me about my collagen and I really am seeing a difference, guys. And I feel like my skin feels plumper. And like, I am really tired right now, like really tired. And I haven't had enough sleep the last week, I'd say. Uh, I haven't been getting my eight hours. And I don't think I look too bad. And I swear, it's the collagen. And even my lips, because I don't have fillers in right now. And I was conscious that they were going to look smaller, but um, I feel like they're still looking quite full. So I think that might be the collagen as well. And my hair is super shiny, but as you can see, I didn't dry it yet. I just braided it. Um, but in my last video, if you have watched it and you're wondering about my hair care, I recently did change my hair care regime, but it was simply changing it to the shampoo and conditioner and treatment that my hairdresser uses. So um, my hair always looks super shiny after I go to the hairdressers. And um, I just decided to invest in salon quality products. And yeah, my hair is looking really good. Well, my fringe is kind of grown out now, which is good. It's getting a bit longer. I think I just cut it too short and that's why it was annoying me, but it's a little bit longer now. And I kind of like the little bit of a center parting that I've got going on. Okay, I'm gonna concentrate because that was a straight road, but now I'm coming to a roundabout. A miracle I have actually gotten here with two minutes to spare. So now I have time to pee for my, for my appointment. Because last time, it's like one and a half, two hours long and the entire treatment I needed to pee. Won't be making that mistake today. So I'm gonna go in. I'm in one of my standard white tees and these cool little peg leg trousers that I got from Zara. I'm obsessed with Zara and white t-shirts. I've got like about three million of them. But I'm gonna go in now, get my treatment done. Hopefully see some improvements over the next couple of weeks. Didn't see anything drastic this week. There was, I thought there was bruising, but then I looked at footage and the bruise was actually there before. So, yeah, gonna go in now, have my treatment. Cellulite, be gone! My treatment is complete and it's raining and I have to get to my car and get home. Oh, this rain is miserable. It's that horrible, misty rain that makes your hair frizzy. I really like coffee, but I'm just gonna go straight home because the treatment takes just under two hours, so like an hour 45. And it is long, but hopefully, fingers crossed, it'll be worth it and we will be cellulite free. Home to my gorgeous Bailey. Are you gorgeous, Bailey? Are you gorgeous? Are you gorgeous? Yes, you are. Where's Roxy? Roxy? Do we not care about Roxy? Here comes Roxy, and Roxy's gorgeous too, aren't you, Roxy? Yes. You're not really into the compliments as much as me. As I said, I am home, and look. This is why I can't wear nice things. Like, I literally put this on like two hours ago. It's brand new, I literally took the tags off it. Ugh. But it's because I'm making my yummy, 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 scrummy, and it's hot. Um, it's my protein oats and it's delicious and I put it up on my Instagram last week so go check out my yummy 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 chocolatey protein oat recipe it's up on my Instagram it's Lainey Bobster if you don't follow me already you need to I do my foodie Fridays where I share some of my recipes I'm also having a coffee that was a lot of words in a very short space of time and yeah coffee time so Oats, coffee, gonna sit and relax for like a half an hour, an hour, get some work started. I have to edit the previous video that you, I'm sure you've already watched and I'll get that up. And you see, I usually upload it overnight because our internet is so flipping slow that we have to upload overnight. But look, this came today, ignore the chocolate boob. Got this on eBay. It's like sterling silver, but I thought it was kind of cool. It's like a little lanyard chain. I'm trying to be cool. I got my ear pierced last week as well up here. See? It's 
that I haven't taken the little stud out of it, but I'm going to put like a little dainty little ring in it. And I'm wearing my little ring earrings. I'm a little wary of wearing ring earrings because I feel like with my dark hair and my freckles, if I wear big hoopty hoops, I look like a bit of a traveller. We can't be having that now. I'm not going for the traveller vibe. I want to just look like Lainey. I thought these were cute. You know, upgrade, upgrading the jewellery, guys. You know, I'm gonna have my oats now. Relaxy taxi for a while. Sit and chill with the girls, the bubs. So this is it. I put some of the Walton's Farm caramel syrup. You've got the chocolate that's all melting in right now. We've got the coffee. We've got a minion protecting it. This is epic breakfast. So I don't know if any of the rest of you are like me, but I find it very hard to sit still. As I said, I was planning on just relaxing for an hour before I go to the gym, but instead I spent the last hour cleaning out my pantry and organising and checking expiry dates and had to throw out like a load of protein bars that were gone past their sell-by date or their best before date and now I'm just having a coffee because I'll see I've been looking at protein bars for the last hour so I'm gonna have one of these it's not gone off it's uh, one of the white chocolate cookie grenade bars and an oat milk coffee yes I love these these are my favorite I have one of them a day factored into my macros I'm able to enjoy it without feeling guilty about having a lovely milky coffee and that is the joy of tracking your food. You can still enjoy cappuccinos and lattes once you track them. A lot of people think you have to be drinking black coffee, you have to have non-dairy milk, all these things. I enjoy the non-dairy milk, I think it tastes nicer on my coffee so that's why I have it. It's not because um, for any reason that I don't want to take in dairy. Only that I prefer the taste of it. So I'm going to enjoy that now and have my little relaxed time and then go to the gym because I do need to just sit down, get off my feet for like a half an hour and relax after all my cleaning. So I've had my relax, I've changed down my dirty t-shirt, I'm in one of the new Gymshark training bras which I love. And it's got a low back, you'll see when I'm training. And I went upstairs and started tidying up there because I really needed to do that today. I don't know what's with me today. I'm on like a cleaning frenzy. So I organized all my trainers and um, tidied away, started laundry, all that kind of jazz. So now it is three o'clock. I wanted to go to the gym at like one. Oh well, I'm gonna go now, do a quick shoulder and tricep workout. The dogs are just outside having a wee because I have to leave them on their own because Lex is out getting his tattoo topped up. So off to the gym I go and then we'll be back to do some editing. Mm. So I got my period and I have a banging headache, I'm feeling nauseous. The last thing I want to do right now is go train for usually does help a little bit, it usually helps lift the headache. So we'll go and see what I can do. I'm starting to look a bit worse for wear as well. Are you listening? 
came in, did my training, got it done, feel like a little bit better, still feel pretty shitty, headache, nausea, all the joys of being a woman. And now I'm gonna go home, feed the dogs, have a cup of coffee, walk the dogs, edit a video, make dinner, because that's my life, and life goes on regardless of having your period feeling pale and washed out. Yes, it's okay to take a day off if you're feeling really, really crappy during your period, but just take a rest day, get back to it as soon as you can, because it probably will make you feel a little bit better, a tiny bit, I swear. I'm in the gym and I am feeling a little bit peckish, but it's not dinner time yet. So I am making myself a little, I don't know what you call it, panini kind of fake thing. But I used one of the Joseph's pitas that I get from Muscle Food, some ham and some of the evening cheese with some mustard and it's going to hit the spot and it's going to be all melty and goodness and yumminess. Have a coffee, I'm going to chill out and then get on with the rest of my day. I am fed, the dogs are fed, we are going for a walk. A few tips now just for when you're on your period and you're feeling shit. I know I've said period a lot this video and a lot of guys are cringing but just get used to it. Number one, drink plenty of water. You are retaining water right now, drink plenty of water, it gets it out of you. It flushes you out so just drink plenty of water, eat some asparagus, get some dandelion root tea if you're like severely bloated. This will all help with water retention. Number two, if you crave chocolate, eat chocolate. Don't buy a huge chocolate bar that you're going to eat the entire thing. Buy a small chocolate bar that you can fit into your macros. Or alternatively, what I did this morning was made my chocolate oats. That fulfilled my chocolate craving. And now I'm still craving some chocolate. So I'll probably have some later. You can have some options, hot chocolate. You can make a chocolate protein shake. This will fulfill your chocolate craving. Just try and fit it into your macros. Number three, try and get some extra rest. Get an early night. You will feel so much better if you are well rested. If you are in a lot of pain, take some medication, take something that will ease the pain, some paracetamol, some ibuprofen, something that's going to help you out. Avoid alcohol. Alcohol is not the best when you're on your period. It is just going to make you feel even worse. I know all you girls, you are reaching for the glass of wine. It's going to make you feel better. No, it's going to make you feel really crappy. Avoid the alcohol. It is a couple of days per month. We have to put up with it for our fertile period in life. I'm so sorry that mother nature does this to us, but it allows us to bring children into the world and repopulate the world with our wounds. So guys, get over being embarrassed about periods and talking about periods. If your girlfriend needs some tampons, you go to the shop and you buy her some tampons. If your girlfriend wants some chocolate, you go to the shop and you buy her some chocolate. That was my little period tips from Lainey. For dinner, I am having some pulled pork that I made last night. Recipe will be coming soon once I've perfected. I've got some pretty charred butternut squash fries. And I'm steaming up the camera. <coughs> we have some pan fried peppers. Some of this barbecue sauce that I got from Muscle Food. It's a smoky barbecue sauce and it's like the Blend Bros, but not Blend Bros, tastes the same and I slightly charred most of my veggies so I had to throw a lot of them in the bin. It's 9.15 p.m. I've just spent the entire evening since eating dinner editing my video. I am just going to finish off my food now with one of these vanilla protein yogurts and then I'm going to hit the hair again early night because I'm wrecked. I've been doing laundry, I've been doing editing and it's just been a long day. I've been up since seven so I didn't even get to finish blow drying my hair today. It's one of those kind of days. 
so i hope you guys enjoyed the video i so i hope i have enlightened some of you guys out there Cause if I only had a hundred fans, I'd take them all to dinner, talk about the people that we used to be. If I had a hundred fans, I'd buy them all the parents, ain't nobody paying, I'd be buying the drinks. And we would party, and we would dance, and we would throw up by them hands until they turn to crowd. Yeah, I got you now, if I only had a hundred fans. Life's too short to be an asshole.